Hello and welcome to Golden's Car Show on the 4th of June, 2022. This is during the Super Cruise. Um, it's a Volvo XC40 recharge. So how long have you had your car? Um, so the farthest we've taken it is to Steamboat. Um, we haven't taken it cross country yet, but we, we take it up in the mountains pretty regularly. And it's just really easy, it's you know, no problem at all. Um, like we've done a day trip to Steamboat before and we did a fast charge there. And the last time we did that, there was a baby bear at the charging station so that was super fun yeah yeah so i had to see that and uh mm -hmm. yeah, just just absolutely love the car it's our first ev and any like a uh, special experience you'd say since you've had it no it's it's just it's kind of funny because like it doesn't really look like an ev so we kind of surprise people and it can go really fast so like people don't expect that so if you need to go really fast it's like people are just like laughing because they're just like so surprised um i don't know like I don't really have like a, like, I can't think of anything in, in particular, but every day kind of is because it's just like so easy to drive and we just like, we're so happy. We're like, we like love every day and we can, we don't drive it every day, but like when we do drive it, it's like, we're just, I couldn't go back. I couldn't go back. Awesome. We're just like, we are for life and EV. So we've always been a one car household anyway. Um, so that's. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. My, my husband does a lot of cycling, commuting to work and things like that. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Well, this is the thing, like for um, entertainment companies, yeah. like mobile DJs yeah, and stuff, they could pull up, have their stuff out, bring their speakers, set them up, plug it into the car and run it. No generator, no no generator. Generator. you could do it anywhere. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. good they're, they're giving uh, free LE test rides of electric bicycles oh, over right here on. if you want to try it. Yeah, right on. Yeah, cool. yeah. If I can attach my phone, no problem. Just kidding. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> That's great. have another Bolt joining the crowd along with a wrapped Tesla Model Y to finally get a video of it.
1972. Oh, Plymouth Satellite. Thank you. Oh, great job. Thank you. Yeah. I even bought the Hemi, and then one day I saw this Tesla take off. I was like, that was a fast car. I wonder if I could get a Tesla car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so different. Everybody has never experienced Yeah. That's what it takes. You just need one ride. Yeah. Put that down. Have you had it? I bought the car in 2016. I finished the conversion about a year ago. Okay. So I've got about 5,000 miles on electric. How many miles of range? 300. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah, it's a 100 yeah. kilowatt pack, and then it's uh, it's about 600 pounds lighter than a Model S. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. So that's power awesome. Power plate's really good. Yeah. How's it doing the snow? Uh, no, I don't. No, uh, I wasn't either. I, know. I mean, I put aggressive tires, but I took it out in the snow one time just to try it. Yeah. And the regen was so sketchy, it was drifting. Like, I could, oh, no. Oh, no. no. You, never, you couldn't slow down. No, it yes. was locked the rear. Yeah. On which wheel? Um, it, so it's it's both wheels, because what they do is they put the motor into a gear reduction differential, just like an old school car. And I put a limited slip differential in it, uh, and then the two half shafts come out of the middle. So if you looked under there, it's a motor on one side, and inverter on the other, gears in the middle. But uh, the Tesla doesn't have positive traction because they have all the electronics to control it. But this one, I had to do, you know, like a shirt rip. Well, I have. Um, I did one time on 75 percent charge. Okay. Eight batteries. I did a 12-2. I'm thinking that was low altitude. I'm thinking band of air, hot batteries, full charge, 11 seven. Get another half second out. Regen on this suit? Oh yeah, full regen. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's actually a little more powerful. It's turned up from the side. Really? Yeah. It'll, it'll regen about 200 amps. I was playing with the regen. I had a fully programmable uh, inverter controller when I first started. I was playing with the regen and I had it um, a balance between off pedal and brake pedal. Uh -huh. And I made a mistake and then I had to drive. And I had time to adjust it. It was so powerful that I would touch the brake pedal and it would lock the rear wheel. Wow. There was no ramp. Was so like, you, but you won pedal oh, drive yeah. it too? I won pedal drive it now. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, I've got it. So you like never really touch the brake pedal? Just like any nice emergency or something. No, and then, yeah. It was yeah, fun. I'm glad I asked. And I'll have a Nissan Leaf. Oh, I yeah. have the one with all the posters in the front. Oh, yeah, so. I've seen that one. Oh, yeah, very okay. cool. Yeah, I do all the road trips and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just added Chattamo. Okay. Um, well, I hope they keep doing that, too. Yeah, they, yeah. they've been... Um, That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how, how is it, you know, finance? You know, the trick is, if you're going to plan a road trip, oh, I call them. Oh. Yeah, because I ran into several of them. Oh, sorry, it's not going to work. Can you get to another one? And I'm like, ah. Yeah. But usually I'm at like zero miles and zero range. So right. that's the next thing is to call campgrounds too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I want to do so, it just, yeah. just because. Yeah. <laughs> just, one, just one more. How much does it weigh? 43.58. It's not bad. No, not terrible. It's 600 pounds lighter than the S, so. How much does this car weigh before the conversion? About 4,050. So it's 300 pounds heavier than it was. Wow. wow. That's, that's awesome. I know. That's interesting. I mean, you think yeah. about the big old cast iron yeah. motor and tranny and rear end and exhaust yeah. and all that stuff. That, that weighs a lot, too. Yeah. How much yeah. do the batteries weigh? Uh, this one's just over 1,300 pounds. Just for the battery. So just they needed extra help. Back. Six in the back. Exactly. Yeah. So sixteen, just like any Model S or Model. How X. many batteries in each one? What's your total? Um, so it's ninety-six cells. Each cell is eighty-six mini cells. Okay. Um, so there's eight thousand two hundred fifty-six eighteen six fifties. Wow. Eighteen two fifty-six. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. I'm oh. giving thank you notes to EV owners. Oh, cool. I do a YouTube channel and all my road trips and stuff, so you can check that out. I think I subscribed to you. Yeah, right on. Yeah. So then you'll see this this show on the YouTube channel. and it's. You know, in my opinion, Chatham is a, a superior yeah. standard. Yeah. I, I, so I wasn't going to install it. I was going to wait oh, for okay. CCS, yeah. which isn't aftermarket yet. And then I started watching on PlugShare, and they keep adding oh, Chatham yeah. ports. So, oh, wow. That's awesome. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, well, I, yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I can program my own charging curve. 
and so I can get 75 kilowatts out of a Chatterman. Wow. Even when it says 50, oh, wow. yeah. I can pull 75. Yeah. Cool. No, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm just stuck with whatever my car gives me. Yeah. Batteries, right? Yeah. Batteries, yep. Yeah. Batteries. Is the radio cool <laughs> batteries? Batteries and the motor. Oh, right. mostly the motor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you just get it? Um, about four months ago, I think. Okay. We, we had to wait for it 14 months. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they have our car set so that you only charge 80%. Okay. Um, but when you road trip, you can turn that off and charge yeah. to 100%. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Well, it's 150 miles. Wow. Yeah. How much range do you guys get in your VW? Oh, okay. You can go, no problem. You can call up Electrify America and yeah. map out a route. They'll yeah. map out a route for Yeah, I use PlugShare and then I also use uh, Google Maps from one address to another, so then I know if I can make it. Because 150, oh, it's pushing yeah. it. <laughs> Especially if you're doing uh, mountain passes. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. And I know Polis has got a big initiative, like he's taking a lot of that um, infrastructure money and putting it into the charging station. I hope so. There's an app. There's an app you can get, and they show you like what the plugs look like, whether it's a Tesla or a Leaf or a Bolt or whatever. So it's 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 helpful to plan. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, be I have to, thing to do. it's actually when I decide I'm going to go somewhere, it's actually so much fun. I'm going. Okay, this is where we're going to go, and we'll see how far it is. If I can make it, if not, then I can. The the trick is campgrounds. So I went to like, uh, the example is, I went to like the middle of nowhere in Nebraska, and in between there was only a campground. And it was perfect because then I could sleep in the car and get up the next morning, five hours later or whatever, and then go on. So, so what's your range when you get in the car yeah. and it's full? It's full, 150. 150. And unless I drain it all the way down, it's been at 201, but that was like a one special, one special time. <laughs> So we are, it was actually the Yellowstone trip. We were pulling into one of the campgrounds and it was at zero miles and zero range. And I'm like, I'm so glad we're here. <laughs> and did they have like charging yeah. stations at yeah. the campgrounds? Yeah, well, the, the RVs plug in. So I've learned a lot since that one trip. I call them and say, hey, do you have like a plug I can plug into? I, it comes with a cord, but I want to make sure that they know and they're okay with it. And even if they don't know when we show up, I like to educate them too. <laughs> So what happens, like, do they just charge you by X amount, like it's still cheaper? Yeah, than it's, use... it's a hit or miss because if you're taking up one of their spots that could be an RV, I'm there for like a night, but then the RV could be there for a week or however long. It's it's definitely a hit or miss. I've had one that charged me $10 and we were there overnight. We used their shower and the restroom and all that. Um, and I also had a different one, the one in Moab was $60 and that was for one night. I'm going... Otherwise, I uh, I like to pull off of the rest stops too. I mean, some rest stops have chargers. I've found a couple of them that like Spanish Fork, Utah. They have a charger. I'm like, yes, this is best. It's, uh, it's not supposed to be a road trip park. Yeah. And it's finding finding chargers, and if they take a little while, you find stuff to do around that area. There's always like the example was uh, we went up the Rocky Mountain National Park. We walked two miles to find the golf course, but my son loves mini golf. So, <laughs> so, and it was done charging in four hours, you know. Yeah, it's outside, you know, and then 
Yeah, we were there in July. A lot of fun. Yep. That took three days from Golden to get up there. <laughs> but that's just because of the charging infrastructure in Wyoming. And I didn't map it out and plan at all and stuff. So it was definitely okay. Well, we're going to stop and it's the middle of the day. It'll probably take two days in a gasoline. Yeah. Yeah, take It's one of the things I love doing. Well, what kind of car do you guys drive? <laughs> I have an Infinity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why you're here, though. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah. And our younger son is like all for you. Got to trade your car, yeah. my car, and get me. I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. If I take, you know, get rid of those two, then I don't have a car. It's basically, you've been driving it all. So I literally passed three gas stations for local coffee. I'm going. This is so. This has to be something. You know, yeah. something special, something, you know, something unique. And so I started doing a parking ride kind of thing where I park the car and take the bike out and then ride. And if I, if it's halfway, however far I want to go, and get coffee and relax and then go back. So, yeah, oh, really gives me a jolt, <laughs> you know, so. Because I need the workout. I love the workout. I love it. This is my prime time of the year to get it all in, yeah. This is the end of the car show. There's Bolty in blue, Leafy in silver, and Tez at the end there. Not sure where that Model 3 came from. Asking tough questions, Maddie. Yeah, she is. Well, it's funny because, like, I mean, this is my band. I own this company. Well, I've been through, I've been through uh, Glenwood Canyon so many times now. I hope it's open every time. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of go. I was planning on going up to Palisade for peaches, and I'm going. Uh, I don't know if I trust the canyon, but it's it's a special place to go if you can make it through. And, yeah. That's what it takes. You need one ride. To That's what it takes. You just need one ride to understand. You know if I didn't give you flack about washing it. Oh, I know. <laughs>